In this video, we are going to be talking about the electrical circuits, specifically the series, parallel, and the relay circuit. Circuits are used to transport power in the form of voltage. Voltage is a measurement of the pressure that causes the electrical energy to flow. While current is the electrical energy that flows through the circuit. Imagine the electrical circuit as water through pipes where the pressure that's pushing the water is the voltage and the amount of water that's flowing through is the amperage. Now imagine if a small pipe is directly connected to a bigger pipe. Let's say that the amount of pressure needed to push the water through the small pipe is five pounds. Once the water gets to here, the pressure disperses because it's a bigger pipe. Because it's dispersed, there's not as much power pushing the water anymore. Now imagine if the water was flowing through the big pipe to the small pipe. The amount of pressure that the big pipe needs to push the water through is too big for the small pipe. Because the small pipe can't handle that much pressure, the pipe would eventually burst. In relation to the electrical circuit, the wire would eventually end up burning out. Now that we know that a big pipe can't directly connect to a small pipe, and vice versa, we need something that can connect these two. That's why we have the relay. These two things are relays. And this is what the relay looks like inside. The relay controls two different circuits. The relay controls two different circuits by becoming an electromagnetic switch. The relay becomes an electromagnet when the coil gets power through these two prongs. This relay takes 12 volts. What that means is that it needs 12 volts of power to power the coil. Once the coil gets power, it turns it into an electromagnet causing these two metal pieces to get pulled in, completing the circuit, allowing current to flow through the prongs. This is a relay circuit. It revolves around the relay, which is right here. In the relay circuit, one circuit controls another circuit. A common use for the relay circuit is in the starting system. This here is a relay in action. When I pull this wire out, the first circuit is broken. Because the first circuit is broken, it's not getting power to become a magnet. When the coil is powered, the switch inside the relay is closed, thus finishing the second circuit, giving power to the light bulb. And that's how the relay circuit works. The series circuit is the simplest circuit and the most time consuming to fix. The series circuit is the most time consuming circuit to fix because if one component breaks, the rest of them turn off as well. The reason why this happens is because the power actually flows through the light bulbs themselves. So if you take one out, the pathway gets broken. In a series circuit, the voltage is divided among each of the loads. Since there are 12 volts coming from the source, each bulb should be getting around 4 volts. As you can see, the voltage is 4. And this bulb is also around 4. This here is the parallel circuit. The parallel circuit is very similar to the series circuit, except there is more than one pathway to complete it. If these two pathways were here, then it would just be a normal series circuit. But since there are multiple pathways, even if a component in one of the pathways is broken, the, uh, the other two will still work. 
and that is the main difference between the series and parallel circuit. In a parallel circuit, the voltage stays, uh, stays the same among each of the pathways. Since the source has 12 volts, each pathway will be getting around 12 volts. As you can see, the voltmeter shows 12 voltage in that one pathway. And as you can see, the same goes for the last pathway. That has been the video for the electrical circuits.